sure is a lofty sounding pretense. Graciously accept this monk. My soul wishes to protect all of man. My precious lost lands. I am a being born from a prayerful peace. An instinct manifest in all wish and search. It is my duty to eradicate what some may call the blue. In doing so, I shall rescue my pitiable children from throwing themselves into the inferno of war. Would you just speak English? You're not making any sense. If comprehension eludes you, then so be it. Accordingly, I had no intention of crossing arms with you in the first place. You said your name was Samael, right? Tell us, what made you decide to come down now? Even all the trouble you went through to break down Toshiro's heart behind the scenes. The fact that you're showing yourself now tells me something. We messed up your plans, didn't we? Had to come see it for you. Silence, you tainted child of calamity and war. I won't deny the children that I have been tasked to protect. Are on me. Therefore, allow me to shepherd you to your salvation. I implore you to accept my complication of peace. That means the power you just obtained is a massive madness, one which will assuredly drive men to I shall make it so. In doing so, you would be relieved of the tragic memories you experienced here. So you're saying if Toshiro-san abandons the power of his awakened persona, you'll get rid of his memories of this world and send him back to the real world? Indeed. Furthermore, my offer is not limited to you. The path of salvation is an invitation I extend to all of you. Though you may be infidels who have the audacity to defy a god, I trust this world has been edifying. Here you witness the folly of running into the flames of battle, brandishing nothing but discordant values. Your... Now, you can be hasty. The intoxication of a fleeting victory has clouded your senses. I shall be waiting to hear your true verdict at a different venue. Hey, who said you could just... Uh... There goes that one, Zach. <laughs> sure, if I'm understanding, it's saying if we stand out and surrender, it'll send us back to the real world, right? That was the gist. Real generous of you, buddy. I know what it said was ridiculous, but I can't deny the feats it's pulled off so far. That's awfully pessimistic of you, Luna. According to Salmael, I'm the reason this whole thing happened in the first place. Not that I think everything it said was true, but I won't say I wasn't bothered by it either. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wait. Yeah. Lavenza? Why did Miss Lavenza become the sky and come here from the train? It is going to be all right, Morgana. Uh, is she an acquaintance of yours? 
from talking cats to blue children. You sure have an eclectic bunch of acquaintances, don't you? Excuse me, but please refrain from making peculiar characterizations of people. Actually, let's save that for later. It seems to me that you all have a destination to get to. Should your will be resolute, I am willing to lend you my aid. I only ask that you make your decision while this room retains its present form. Room? Do you mean this train is... Indeed. This is but another manifestation of the Velvet Room. However, as for why it assumed its current form following its previous volatile state, frankly speaking, even I do not have that answer. While that does beg a plethora of concerning questions, this doesn't feel like the right time to raise them. So we'll be skirting across the night sky on a flying express line? What fun! Would you mind if I took a moment to sketch the train in its entirety? What? Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on! You do realize that's not what a train actually sounds like, right? Don't be a spoil sport. Just do it. Choo choo! Why are you doing it? We have some interesting characters in the fray now, don't we? The power vested within you grows through your bonds with others. It is quite feasible your powers as a trickster have reached new heights because of it. We are now departing. Please exercise caution so you are not flung from the train. Time to write. You okay, man? They're still messing with you? Well, yes, a bit. I'm worried they were headed to the final showdown without certain details being sorted out. I feel the same. There's still the question of Irina, and this world itself. Not to mention the fact that we're not even sure what exactly it is we're going to fight. I am not sure how much help I will be, but if you'd like, I can share with you what I know. Please be aware that this will involve a degree of speculation, but I should be able to provide some useful information. I too have been conducting investigations into the nature of Salmael's existence. What I have found suggests it is the materialization of an instinct. So, do you mean it's a sort of malevolent god like Yaldabaoth? Unlike the god of control, who was born from a collective yearning for idleness, Salmael is, how should I put this, a universal instinct that's burdened man since the beginning of time. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to die. Man's innate desire of self-preservation is another way to put it. One might call it a material embodiment of this instinct, born from an ocean of human subconsciousness. So, kinda like the personification of people's consciousness that goes, no, don't hurt me, right? When you put it that way. Perhaps it was the passage of time, or perhaps it was a change in the nature of the human soul. In any case, a transformation occurred for the purpose of keeping pain at bay. Whether you consider the battles one fights to assert their convictions, or the will driving them towards their fruition, it seems to think that all potential sources of pain ought to be eradicated. If there is anything that does differentiate it from the god of control, it is that Samael believes it is protecting humanity 
by eliminating individuals with ideologies it deems threatening. So, Salmael thinks it's protecting humanity, huh? Oh, good grief. That's one of the worst types to deal with. That means it'll do whatever it takes to destroy those it deems likely to cause people pain. The words and actions it has exhibited thus far would seem to suggest so. Ah, oh, crap. Now I'm confused again. So, in simpler terms... Well, this might not be perfectly accurate, but... Selmael's stated goal is to ensure that people don't get hurt or suffer. And in order to accomplish that, it came to the conclusion that any risk taken to fight for something is undesirable. Does that sound about right? Furthermore, given our nature as humans, there will always be those who take a stand to initiate change. And that gives Salmael an endless supply of people to stamp out for having these dangerous ideas. Dangerous ideas? In other words, they possess the will of revolution. A desire to take a stand against authority. So, this time around, Toshiro fits the bill, huh? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. I'm very taken by this drawing here. Could I give my opinion on it? Maybe leave that for later. Alright, that's enough about that. Now that we have a decent grasp on Salmael, what's next? Though, to be precise, I should clarify that's only half correct. Half correct? This place. It's a spiritual world ruled by Salmael. It was built using your cognition, Toshiro. In more succinct terms, this is a metaverse Salmael constructed to break your will. I have come to the conclusion that that is the most accurate way to describe it. That seems like a lot of trouble just to take me out. Under normal circumstances, it would have been able to erase your will simply by invading your mind. But a budding power to resist its domination had already taken root inside of you. Power to resist? Oh, I get it. You mean a persona? Precisely. The persona is an armor of rebellion meant to resist those who would try to exert their influence over others, like the Phantom Thieves. Interfering with those who possess this power is no small task. And you're saying this power of the will had started to take root in me as well? It is quite plausible if there was something to trigger it. Anything happened to you recently that rings a bell? That's quite a crude analogy. Oh! So it did help you think of one. It was the end of last year. As I told you before, I'd been undecided on whether to indict my father for his wrongdoings. And it was right around that time when you all hijacked the live TV broadcast. Here I was struggling to stand up to my father while you were boldly proclaiming your beliefs to the entire nation. When I thought about it that way, I felt inspired to show the same courage as you. As for what happened next, it is still only a possibility, but a faint seed of power may have taken root within him then. Of course, a persona can be awakened in other ways, too. I see. Agreed. In other words, with ordinary people, Salmael is able to invade their minds whenever it pleases. But with Toshiro, the subtle emergence of a power to resist prevented it from interfering. These drawings are so, uh... <laughs> Unique. I'm kind of at a loss here, but... <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yes. You have the general idea. I know we went through all this relatively quickly, but we will be arriving shortly. I will be happy to answer any more questions to the best of my ability. Thank you, Miss Lavenza. To put it plainly, the enemy is yet another nosy god wannabe. It's not going to be an easy fight, but when has that ever stopped the Phantom Thieves? Pardon me. We will be arriving momentarily, everyone. Are all your preparations in order? Hell yeah! Bring it on! 
would have liked to enjoy this pleasant train ride a bit longer, but I suppose that will have to wait until we clean up this mess. Our morale couldn't be higher. Onward! No cause for concern, I see. Very well. Huh? Safely. Please, watch your step getting off. Excuse me, but is that what you call safe? The world did three whole rotations. I'm dizzy. S sorry. Could I get a bag or something? Ugh. Anyhow, it looks like we made it to the enemy stronghold. Do you think Samael's waiting up ahead? Yes. But I wouldn't expect a warm reception. I would suggest going further only when amply prepared. This is the final battle. Let's get the win and stop this nutcase for good. Yeah, and I'll settle the score with my past and once I'm... <laughs> you don't make it easy to have a... Good. Thanks for your purchase. Make sure you're well prepared. What would you like? Make sure you're well prepared. What would you like? Anytime. Do you wish to perform a fusion? Now then, make your decision. One moment, please. Moment. 
Is this acceptable? Are you finished? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which pers- What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Well then, have a pleasant day.